Hi pretties! Welcome to my channel! In today's vlog, I'm going to take you to Valencia and Barcelona in Spain. My husband and I had the vacations of our dreams exploring six different cities around Europe and Valencia and Barcelona are definitely among our top favorites. So if you're ready, let's get started! <laughs> We made it to Valencia and we are in our Airbnb. Let me give you the tour. Super tiny room. Uh, this is the bed. And then we have a couple balconies. That's one. Here's another one. That's where I was at when I was uh, welcoming y'all. A tiny little couch. Another balcony here. And then a little kitchen. I've noticed that all of the stoves are electric and it just has like two places for the stove. And then we also have a super pretty view out here. Let me show you. Lots and lots of green. I really like this view. And then lastly, Edward's over there trying to get settled in in the closet. There goes me. <laughs> and then our toilet and shower okay so i am going to change because i came in jeans and a jacket but it's a little bit warmer so i'm gonna put some shorts on and then we'll be out and ready for our adventure okay so we settled in and now we're gonna go get some brunch and i changed to some shorts but surprisingly it's not that hot i'm so glad i brought a little jean jacket and then edward stayed in his sweatpants <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's like i don't think it's that cold uh, we're gonna go have some brunch. It has some really good reviews and I'll show you what we get. Coffee time. Mm, Edward didn't want to wait. He was ready. It was tough? I haven't tried one yet. I'll let you know how they are. But from the way they look, they look delicious. Okay, we came to a local park here in Valencia. It's called Jardí del Turria, right? Del Turi. Del Turria. Turria. <laughs> it's very pretty and I think this is where all the locals come and do their running, their exercise, or just to come and have a picnic. We've also seen like uh, some people laying out in their blankets and drawing or reading a book. Super nice. The weather is perfect <laughs> here. And one of the things that caught my attention the most is the shape of the trees. They have like a very thick bottom, like the trunk starts very thick and then it comes um, at the top, it starts thinning out. I'll show you. Let me. we found Puente de la Exposición de la Peineta, which was designed to look like the typical hairpiece that Valencian women wear, which then led us to a little art market full of local artists that they had going on that day. I got a pair of earrings. <laughs> I always get sucked in into some type of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in markets. I'm not really like a mall type of person, but whenever it's a tiny little market and I know it's handmade or something at least um, local, I always love that. Let me show you. We randomly ran into this park. It's called Jardín del Real. And it's so cute because they have um, like the routes for bikes and skating, but they even have red lights and everything. It's mainly for little kids to learn how to ride their bikes. Super cute. Artifacts that they really valued here. Buenos dias! This is 
is our second morning in Valencia. We're on our way to go get breakfast. And a quick tip I wanted to share with you. We always stop by little convenience stores and get our water. This is one and a half liters. Yeah. And this is 0.75 euros. But at the restaurants, if you get a water, that's going to be two euros for like half the water. So we always pass by a little convenience store and then get our water. And they let us in with it and save uh, so much money because you need to stay hydrated, especially since you're going to be doing so much walking. Brunch, brunch was delicious, but unfortunately, we were way too hungry and we dived right in. <laughs> And I didn't even get to show you, but we did get a dessert. We got a Nutella pancake, and then I'm still working on my coffee. Edward already finished his coffee. Okay. Super yummy. Then we made it over to La Lonja de la Seda. This was built on 1492 with the Gothic style. The original purpose of this building was a place for merchants to work out contracts, pretty much like a very fancy office. And now it's a beautiful museum open to everyone to go and check out this beautiful design. As we were walking out, we found this awesome human statue dressed like a little elf, but he even had a tree, a bow machine. He had a whole thing going on, super cool. We have El Micalet back here. That is the Tower of Valencia. the bullfighting ring of Valencia. So I think each state or each location has their own bullfighting ring. It's something very important to Spaniards. And then, and then over here, we have a beautiful train station. I really wanna go check it out. We made it to the beach. At the beach, we also noticed a lot of people were slacklining, basically balancing on a rope. Apparently, it's a very popular activity here in Valencia. Near the beach, we found this hidden port called Sa Playa, surrounded by super colorful, beautiful little homes. We are in Barcelona and we just made it to our Airbnb. I'm so excited. I am literally inside of my Airbnb. You can see it right here. But look at this beautiful view we have. Let me show you. Edward's already enjoying it. Oh my God. This is La Sagrada Familia. It's still under construction. It has taken how long? I think it's over 200 years. I don't remember right, but I think it's over 200 years. So it's taken over 200 years. <laughs> but I'll, go, um, I'll show you more up close of the Sagrada Familia. Let me give you a little tour of the Airbnb. Okay, so as soon as you walk in to the left, they have a little kitchen here. We won't be using this much. <laughs> and then they have the little table, living room with this amazing view that I just showed you earlier. We want to go get breakfast one of these days so we can have it out here. And then over here is our bedroom. They have sliding doors, which is pretty different for me. Here's a little uh, room. And we also have a view from our room, that giant window. Then you walk through a hallway. We have the restroom. Hey. <laughs> and then they have um, two little double beds that we won't be using. We just kind of laid out our luggage out here. But I'm so excited. I am in love with this view. <laughs> right now we're pretty hungry and we're gonna go eat. We got here through train. We came here from Valencia and it took about two hours and a half. I highly recommend um, to travel through train instead of air. 
because distance wise or like time wise is about the same but you don't have to get there those two or three hours in advance to check in and all that fancy stuff at airports you basically just as long as you make it within like 20 minutes before your train leaves you're good so i highly recommend i really love traveling by train we came for pizza uh, it was like beer and I got some wine. Yeah. We couldn't wait any longer and we immediately went to go visit La Sagrada Familia. This church left us speechless. The architecture, the detail, the peace that you feel in here is out of this world. Just look at those colors. All of that is true natural lighting. And the crazy part is that it's still under construction. We definitely want to go back once it's completed. Then we want to go visit Arco del Triunfo and Parque de la Ciutadella. This park was very busy and full of life. We even found a group of people practicing their dance in the middle of the park. Good morning! It's our second day in Barcelona and we're gonna do a free walking tour. So they'll take you around the whole town, tell you the whole story about all the historic spots here, and then you just give them a tip accordingly. So let's go see what they have to share with us. I highly recommend these walking tours everywhere they took us and all the cool information they shared with us was extremely interesting. Mercado de la Boqueria. Apparently this is kind of like a tourist trap. Food is not great. It's just overpriced, but definitely worth coming and checking it out. Let's go see what they have. We are in Castillo Moyuc. Castle Moyuc. the rest of the day at the magic fountain of Monjug enjoying the view and listening to relaxing music and at night time we found out that they were having a fashion show so we even got to see a bit of that Buenos dias! Today is our third day in Barcelona and we went to go have breakfast and now we're going up a mountain to go get a whole view of Barcelona but from a different area so let's go see what they have. I say I'm in, but so much fire can lead to the hike was pretty intense, but the view was totally worth it. I'm not trying to, trying to press you. I wanna know what you would say. I'm not trying We made it to Parque Guel. This park is a true work of art. This was designed by three different architects and one of them being Antoni Gaudi, the same architect that designed the Sagrada Familia and so many buildings here in Barcelona. After spending most of the day at Guel, we visited other buildings that were also designed by Gaudí. It was super fun walking the streets of Barcelona and finding super interesting and funky buildings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and say hi in the comments. See you soon. Bye.